Hello guys and welcome to Top Channel 1. Today Adobe, the company behind apps like Photoshop, Illustrator and After Effects have recently released their own version of generative AI called Firefly. This move may come as a surprise to some considering that generative AI tools like Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion are currently threatening to replace traditional artists who use Adobe products. However, Adobe's business model relies heavily on artists using their software, so it's unlikely that they would create something that could potentially lead to their own demise. Instead, Firefly is geared towards helping artists improve their workflow and create better art, rather than replacing them altogether. In fact, Firefly represents a compromise between traditional art and AI generative imagery. It provides users with the ability to generate high quality images without requiring years of experience in digital art while still leaving room for artists to exercise their creativity and flourish. Overall, Firefly is an impressive tool that helps artists speed up their creative process without sacrificing quality. It's a clear example of how AI can be harnessed to aid traditional art rather than replace it entirely. Some of the examples are just really impressive. Here you can see an artist working on an image without importing any extra images from anywhere. They are using AI to generate the image and make variations of just selected areas. And you can extend the image by using text prompt to, to fill in new areas of the image. At first this looked like it would be a standalone application, but it seems to be a tool that is integrated in other Adobe applications like Illustrator. Here Firefly is being used to turn font sketches into vector diagrams. Illustrator had a tool that could do something similar, but what it could not produce was variations. Using a text prompt, you can ask the AI to generate some variations of your sketched out fonts. Adobe touches almost every area of the creative process, including video with their video editing suite, which includes apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects. In the demo, they also show that you can use their generative AI to make changes in your footage. This demo shows an artist turning the daytime scene into a winter scene with just a text prompt. I also like the fact that uh, you can use the AI to create selection layers of your image. Uh, for example, here you can see after creating the bird, the artist is able to just select the outline of the bird and uh, switch out the background uh, or scale it up. And I think this is why this AI is going to be more successful, more successful than AIs like Mid Journey or Sebo Diffusion, is that uh, it's not just text prompt, but uh, you, you get a full range of tools that uh, you can use to customize the image and actually do some creative art directing on the image itself. You don't just typing in text prompt and uh, producing a final image. It's like this is just a resource to use in your creative process instead of just replacing the entire workflow by a text prompt. I mean, just look at some of the renders they have here. Yeah, we have already seen what Mid Journey can do and uh, other applications can do. So it's not surprising to, to see another AI do something similar. But uh, what we have not seen is, is an AI that is artist friendly. I also like this generate template feature where you can just drag in a mood board and uh, the AI can generate a template for you that you can easily edit out. I think this is one AI that I'm really excited about. I think it represents a new era of generative AI where we are seeing already established creative products like Adobe integrating or creating, coming up with their own tools. What we have been seeing before is just new tools that try to replace current workflows. But uh, I think we, we might start to see this trend happening more than before. Maybe in the future we might see something from ZBrush where they have an AI sculpting, generative sculpting tool that uh, maybe you can use it to create uh, the best mesh, type in a text prompt and of whatever you want and uh, you can use it to detail parts that would take a lot of time. So for example, maybe you want to sculpt a, a character with scales on them. Right now, you have to sculpt in the individual scales by yourself, but uh, maybe in the future, ZBrush can come up with a tool that lets you to just type in a prompt. You have already sculpted the best mesh and I just want the scale detail on the bottom. Uh, ZBrush could have a text prompt where you can just type in so something like fill the model with these scales here and here and here and uh, it would be able to do that. Uh, that's I think the more productive AI that I would look forward to to seeing rather than what we have been seeing previously like Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion. I think it's going to also be more useful to artists than Mid Journey because Mid Journey doesn't really give you room to be really really creative. You don't really get a chance to make any changes to the images. Every time you get something, you have to regenerate it. Uh, but uh, for, for this AI, I think you can see here, uh, they have an image input of a character and you just doodle some glasses on them and uh, the AI is able to tell that uh, you want glasses uh, around their eyes. 
Another example that I liked here is that say you have an image taken of a product or anything, but uh, it has not come out looking good, but you still want to use something similar to it. You can just select, create a selection of that area and tell the AI about what you want to replace and uh, it, will, it will imagine something better to replace what you had there. In this example, they show an image of an umbrella that didn't look good. Maybe your client wants a better image, but uh, you don't have the budget all the time to go into field and take another image maybe you want the other parts of the image but uh, it's just the umbrella that doesn't that didn't come out correctly uh, you can just ask the ai to regenerate or to re regenerate the that part of the image with the umbrella but uh, with a better image with a better photography yeah if you want to check out more about this ai all things are going to be in the description and uh, Speaking of making your images look better, this add-on, Real Water, makes your water look like real water. And uh, you can see some of the renders here. Uh, it's very easy to use and it's uh, basically a, sh a bunch of shaders that make real water. And uh, the renders just look amazing. You there isn't much to say about this add-on except that uh, it, it makes realistic looking water. And uh, yeah, so if you want to get this, you can check out the links in the description.